Hello everyone, I'm Dorito Burrito. Welcome back to Pray. Uh, and also good morning. It is morning as I record this in the morning. I normally play Pray at night when it's spooky time. Unfortunately, I played last night and, you know, I always do a little, like, checkup video just to make sure things are working right before I record the actual video. And I did, and everything was working good, like always. Uh, and then I recorded the actual video for about an hour, and then played back the recording and realized there was no sound. And nothing I could do would fix it. Uh, the app just that I'm using for streaming just stopped working. Uh, and then... The ultimate fix was to uninstall it and reinstall it, and here we are. So, I have a little bit of an idea of what's up ahead, but I guess, uh, yeah, let's see if I can get us back. Right, we did start at the Habitation Pod. I'll have you know, last time, I actually broke the game. I went through the roof right there, and I'm not sure how it happened, but I glitched through it, and then I fell down back behind this wall, which, you know, is like a, a one-way mirror. Like, if you fall back there, you can see everything back here, but you can't walk through the wall. So I was just stuck there, and then when I tried to get myself out, I actually fell through the map and just started falling at infinitum. I might, I might upload that clip somewhere. But, uh, yeah, let's just systematically go through this. And hopefully I don't do that again, because I was super annoyed. Anders, your package arrived. Front desk. If I'm not here, the code is 69. Right. We already made our way in there. But now we have the code, I guess. So that's cool. Um, I think... I can't quite remember. But I think there was... Something up here. Somewhere? Whoops. No? Over here? Mm, that looks empty. Let's see, so where are we? We're trying to recover all of Danielle's show's uh, audio records so that we can make something. Malia Fowles. This is Fowles. Officer Fowles. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Milia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes. How she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Sounds good. The Yellow Tulip. Join us for a private celebration of Transtar success. Uh, so, oh yeah, and Danielle show. Okay, second floor mazine crew facility. Second floor. Okay, so we'll have to look for that. Wanted to check in on you, Sky. Just a normal mod hangover. I feel Someone's playing weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's oh. so... It's oh, like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. <sighs> you might have a little bit of a problem. Uh... Yeah. You've got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <laughs> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway. Yeah. Beneath a stone, you will find a magical key card. This key card will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, everything I don't need a key for that. And don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday. All right. Fatal Fortress. 
Sam oh, okay. Hmm. We're gonna have to find out where they're playing that game. Uh, oh. Take it. Granger's Memories, excerpt from a journal written by Harley Granger. 9 27 2034. I should still be down there playing. My guys need me, and my shoulder just couldn't deliver. I couldn't deliver. I brought a lot of autographed gloves with me and passed them out like candy at Halloween, but it turns out a lot of these test tubers don't follow sports at all, much less know about my career, short as it was. What are the chances Mr. U could set me up with the neuromod, uh, with the neuromods I'd need to put, my, put me back in the game? Hell, he could buy a franchise and stock it with the greatest players that ever lived. If I got a neuromod, would it be me playing? The league would never let modded players in, but how would they know? Yeah. Here, you can have this. I'll trade you. I don't know why I want this. I think maybe I can make it... I don't know. I'm going to try to... Nope. Oh, shut it. Maybe try to recycle it. Maybe it'll give me some flammable. That's nice. Just a little cubicle. I feel like it'd be really difficult for me to sleep in something like this. Hi, Mommy. I've been having bad dreams since you left Dr. Preston and said I... Uh, well... Oh, right. It's a little kid. Bad grammar. I've been having bad dreams since you left. Dr. Preston said I should draw it, and that would make help make it go away. Uh, I hope you like my picture and come home soon. I love you, Corey. Oh. Corey is an artist. It's beautiful, Corey. Unpack that in therapy. Um, let's see. Okay, so we did have a new objective. What was that? Lover's Gift. We have a ton of objectives. Tree with the lover's initials and arboretum. Okay, yeah. Let's go do that. And then we'll take a chance. We'll take take the chance to um, recycle some stuff while we're there. Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh... Why did that open? Why did you open? Okay, I'm not sure if this is where I was at. Hopefully it was. Uh, if this is jarring, I'm sorry. Basically, uh, I paid for Bandicam, which may have been a huge mistake because it keeps fucking up and it's a huge disappointment right now. Uh, usually it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but it's been giving me a lot of issues lately. Um, but I'm going to try to move past that and just keep on task, which I believe was to go find that body. Ellie Gold? Is it Ellie Gold, I think, body? Uh, she's supposed to have some kind of key card on her. The transcribe said that it would give us everything we want or something like that. Oh, the disruptor gun is for human targets. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have been doing that. Oh, I should have been doing that so I wasn't killing them. Instead, I've just been shooting their whole head off. Like, twice that's happened now. Well, maybe... Okay. I'm going to have to rethink some things. Yes, yes, creepy music. Oh, wait, why did I do that? I have to rehack this? Oh, that's shitty. Eh. No! I'm getting a little better at it. Um, let's see. We're going to look at crew. I don't remember. Crap. I don't remember what what crew she's in. Her name is Ellie Gold, right? Whoops. Uh, lover's Gift. <sighs> Ellie. Yeah. What's the security station? Yeah. On it. Okay. Let's see. 
There. Okay. Good. Good, good. Everybody's on, on task. There she is. Oh, and actually, because I'm a huge cheater and I already did this once, I'm not a huge cheater, just Bandicam screwed me over. Oh, I'm so bitter. Alright, nope, we're moving past it. We're not going to think about it, we're just going to move past it. <laughs> Alright, I, I don't have leverage still, and I've been getting by without it pretty well uh, by using explosives, uh, which has worked well for me. Um, however, when I did this in the last playthrough, the one that you missed out on because it has no sound, uh, I did blow myself up. I didn't die, but it was very painful. Uh, so I'm going to be a little more careful to try not to do that this time. Hey, buddy. He's just, just kicking it. Being a cool dude. Alright, here she is. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and try to gently drop that. <laughs> Hi. I thought maybe there was like a transcribe next to her or something. Oof. Your head's kind of stuck in that there uh, tree there. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Here we go. Don't die. Don't. Don't die. Yeah. It's not working. Alright. More time. Gently. Oh! Why? Why are you not working? Get over here. It's not where I need it. Right here. You're perfect. Actually, you suck, but... See if this works. Don't kill me. There we go. Alright. That's to A2. Where's A2? I think that was back where we just were. Here, hook me up. It's beautiful. Also, we still gotta figure out how to get in there. Fly away? Alright. Yes, yes, multiple objectives, I know. Lawrence Baxter, oh. So he like, oh man. So he actually like died waiting for her. I forgot, I'm gonna go recycle some stuff. Maybe I'll take what I can. Um, that sucks. So she died before she could get to him. That's awful. No, can you? Okay, yeah, let's open up our inventory a little bit. farther than I meant to. I like that I can do that. And then we don't need this. Let's just access metal. Uh, okay, we can keep everything else. Give me stuff. Give me stuff. I want stuff. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. Okay. More stuff. We need more materials. Because I'd like to craft more neurologs. And maybe become more part alien, but I've been trying to avoid it. But I really couldn't help becoming a mimic. I couldn't resist it. It's very important to me to be a mimic. To have that kind of capability, you know? 
Very important. For those who know me, you know, you're aware that I have a, a love for mimics. I have a deep love for mimics in d and I love, I love putting them in my games. I've painted them. They're quite fun. Uh, I like that they're kind of not very intelligent, but super cool and creepy. All right, where'd that shotgun go? Because I kind of... Oh, whoops. Speaking of, I'm a pillow now. All right. Uh, sweet. Yeah, I still haven't figured out, because we read that text. That text that said uh, that when you become a mimic... Or no, it said um, the mimics in this game, when they turn into another object, they're not actually turning into... Okay, we did grab it. We, we're not actually turning into another um, object. The mimic itself is actually going to a parallel dimension where that object exists, and it's replacing itself with that object temporarily. I don't know if that's true for us. I mean, in theory, it should be true for us. However, we're able to make the object move. And it doesn't seem like the mimic is able to make the object move. And not only that, it doesn't even seem like we're really able to make the object move other than to shoot it. Because if you remember, uh, from like a game or two ago, I did try to pick a med kit up that happened to be a mimic, and it wouldn't move. I was getting very frustrated. Um, okay, what should I do? I have some bullets. Well, I have some shells. Nope, don't do that. Um, yeah, let's see. I've got pistol ammo. I'm actually, I'm actually doing not too bad. Um, I'm doing not too bad. If I had Q-beam ammo, that would be, that would be the bee's knees. That's what I need. But I don't think I have the thing for Q-beam ammo. No. Other than that, I've got lots of ammo. Oh, Recycler Recharge might be good. Maybe I'll make one of those. Just a nice little thing to have on hand. Uh, maybe I'll make some Neuromods. I'm just gonna upgrade as much as I can. Up to you. Everything. What's our neuromod situation anyway? We got eleven of them. Ooh, all right, all right. Hmm. Good to know. Increasing the effectiveness of med kits would be good. Ooh, hacking would be good. What about this one. I don't know, I haven't really been using that a whole lot. Uh, I think Gunsmith might be good. Really, like, upgrade the crap out of our shotgun and our pistol. Repair 3. We haven't really run into a lot of things that need a Repair 3. Uh, more inventory space is always nice. Uh, ooh. Oh, speaking of which, actually, I forgot to do that. Thanks for reminding me. Um, oops. Yeah. Get out of here. We don't need you. What else do we don't need? I think that's it. Can we steal? Alright. Now can makes? No, still can't make. Okay. Mark, you're really bumming me out, man. Can you like? Yeah, here. Let's let's bring you over here. I don't I don't want to look at you anymore. Sorry about you being dead or whatever. All right. I 
Ah, what was I doing? Neuromods. Uh, I think I might upgrade our suit. And more chipsets. I don't know how many chipsets we're going to get, but... Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. Maybe lab tech one. So that means we have to get this. Well, we kind of need this, actually. Okay, here's what we're doing. We're, we're going to get the materials expert so we can get more out of our recycling, because that's super useful. And then we're going to get lab tech one. And the reason why is because I want to be able to upgrade that cubing rifle. Speaking of which, we have, yeah, we got weapon grade upgrades. Um, yes. More power, please. Because I think ultimately this is the thing we're going to end up using against that giant thing that's up in the, up in the, uh, whatchamacallit, in the greenhouse, which I haven't been, I've been kind of ignoring him. So, lab tech too. Okay, but what about firing time? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Nice. All right. Sitting pretty. Good. Let's get out of here. Headed back downstairs, I think. Right, so I think we're trying to get to deep storage, but we can't get into deep storage without Danielle Show's voice. And so we're down in crew quarters trying to get recordings of Danielle Show's voice. Which we've gotten a few. I'm not sure where we're at with that. Hopefully we're pretty close. Get ready to rock. Just kidding. I don't really know. Um, it's a nice sound. Oh, the yellow tulip. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did not get... We did not get a sound recording from there, but we did get evidence that there was a sound recording potentially here. Ah. Oh. Hello. Oh. Okay. this, but let's do it. Oh. 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 Alright, we don't need to hack this. Let's just repair it. Scanning target Typhon material inconclusive. Logging calibration request. Yeah, I see. Give him a little pop pop. Not anymore. Typhon contaminant smushed. Take all that. Let me try to recycle all this. Part-time. Oh, whoops. <laughs> of course that's alcoholic. I don't know why I thought that was water. Oh! Yellow tulip supply closet. Good. Excellent. What? What the hell was that? Yeah, I hear it. I hear something. Go. 
where are you? Oh gosh. Brandy Pester? Sorry, Brandy. If you find this, the escape pods didn't work and we believe it was intentional. Those black shapes were everywhere and everyone we know is dead, or something worse. We aren't going to let that happen to us. To our families, we love you, Brandy Pester and Jenny Garbinsoff. Oh no. What did you do? Oh. That is, that is the face of dejection. I'm sorry. That is real sad. Ugh. That's very shitty. I'm just gonna take all this liquor now. Oops. I think that's everything in here. Fight now. Oh. Let's eat some stuff, I guess. Kira Whitman. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you somewhere. Hey, this is sweet. Play. Sweet. Oh, base. That's cool, I guess. Uh, there must be a recording here somewhere. I didn't see anything. I heard somebody crying. Guy Jameson. <clears throat> the Neural Horizon 3 Epilogue of Brandy's Story Case Studies of Neuromod Donors and Recipients. I went to visit the Graces. Brandy had passed from her paraplexus, and the connect dome of her ability to skate still remains unused in Transtar databanks. Her parents declined to be interviewed, citing the interviews with Brandy had uh, done more harm than good. Rather than raising awareness of the condition, it had shown the division. Brandy had been one of the first to discover her new handicap. But if neuromods are the future, what happens to those unable to use them or afford them? Yikes. That's pretty rough. Can't the sledge is too hard. Okay. Do I do I Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and give her a little quick save. So I imagine I might have just done something. 
Yes, we're back in the yellow tulip, and now we have lights. Where's that voice coming from? Yellow tulip, we've got to have something, some kind of voice recording. Oh, do we go in here? I don't think we did. Ah, this must be where it is. Here's what I'm going to do. I don't know what's about to happen. But I get a bad feeling. So I'm just going to plop this guy down. I'm going to plop him down right here. Session playback. Alex is toast. Welcome, everyone. We've made an amazing achievement. As of 12 hours ago, we have broken the 8,000 euro mod mark. 8,000 nice. euro mods. Sharing skills, abilities, improving the quality of life. And you are to be congratulated. You are the ones who made this all possible. And congratulations to my dear brother, Morgan. Who is left for Earthside to assist in marketing efforts with the Transstar Board of Directors? You bet. So, let us toast to Transstar, to the Neuromart, and the future. Yes, yes. Congratulations. What is success if it can't be shared? Let me introduce a few of our employees, none of which had any musical talents until yesterday. Except Chief Show, who I'm told has a lovely singing voice. There we go. Sky, Danielle, whenever you ladies are ready. Ah. So I think I'm okay for a second. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I survived so far. Okay. Here we go. I guess this place is just bopping now. Um, let's see, do we have any? F yeah, let's eat some food. Oops. Trust. 
Theater. Let's try the theater. Oh. Rising Stars, excerpt from article Sizzle Report by Layla Sky. Antonio Frolka, star of the summer blockbuster Transgressions, did all of his own death-defying stunts in the film. This eccentric A-lister has played the action star in dozens of films and now, after a long hiatus, has returned in better form than ever. Witness Frolka swinging from a crane in our exclusive teaser clips online. Frolka has been seen cavorting with the stunning Cindy Sinclair. More in this edition. Ten celebrities... Da, da, da. Oh, that Defy Aging. Vacation in Space. 2031. Real Awards nominees. Gary Lee snubbed? Oh. Rising Stars interviews. Transgressions. Newcomer Will Richardson. Or Richardson. Or whatever. Uh, uh sure. Welcome Morgan Yu. Okay. Thank, thank you. Is there even anything here? Anything at all? I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Can't. This isn't like the other things, is it? Something with this? No. Scanning target typhoon material inconclusive. Oh. Rest. I'll let you take care of this. Whoops. Attitude adjustment required. movement, don't you? Transgressions. Okay. I like how it's all old timey, even though we're like ten years in the future. Oh, Danielle Show. So I found your sticky note, the one under the desk with your password. Wait, you were under my desk. Look, you need to keep your password safe. All right. I'm watching yeah, out for on. you because I love you. You yeah. love me? I love you enough to crawl under your desk. I totally wasn't looking for the pen I dropped. Flatter. Okay, I think we still have a few more. Where? Oh, oh shit. Okay, uh, maybe shotgun. Recycle charge? Ah. Almost got me. He ran away from me. Ah. Uh. Asshole. God, these guys suck.
Yikes. Freaked me out. Total waste of a fucking recycler charge, too. Okay, let's see. Where am I at? Ooh, I like this poster. Somebody get me this. Ugh, it's creepy. Um... I forgot what I was doing. So let's see, we need to get to the cafeteria at some point, but I'm gonna go to crew cabins. I think we went to crew cabin A or B before. I'm still gonna search it just in case. I can't remember if we did come here or not. Get the tree. Make some more shotgun ammo. Sylvie and Bellamy. Ties coal. Yeah, I think we did come here before. Pretty sure. Yeah, we did. Okay. Still. Yeah, Foy. This is the one we need to get into, right? Oh, whoops. Shit. Yeah, we went through all this. We need to get into Foy's room. I guess maybe we try cabin A. I really want to offload some of the stuff I have on me though. I want to recycle it. Oh yeah. We can go in there. I just don't want to deal with it. That guy was tough. Why was he so strong? Stop it. My goodness. Okay, we have Kelstrom. I'm terrified of everything now. Ew. What, what do you got going on, man? I'm gonna use those uh, Typhon lures more. Canned pears. Greetings, Dr. Kelstrip. Unfortunately, we won't see another case of canned pears until the next supply shuttle arrives. As always, Elliot will mark them EDS. Thank you for your patience. Arms. Uh, get them scheduled, Alex. Deja vu is set in again. Retracing steps is going to be a little harder this time. It seems that Mueller's staff was not properly recording data. So all that progress they made since the last department-wide removal is in jeopardy. We'll need to temper our expectations. Wiping the memories of the entire department is a tremendous setback, and I'm beginning to question the practice versus the results we've seen. We should revisit the staggered system we discussed last year. Hans comes from Mocha. Hmm. Lots of food. Is there anything like a little more useful? Is that it? All right. So that's it. 
trying to make my way in there. Consciousness is based on non-compatible quantum processing. Oh, is it? I don't know about that. It seems like a lot of... Uh, back there? Oh. The Neural Horizon 1. Uh, the process doesn't hurt. Not at all. Brandy Grace speaks happily, enthusiastically. Her smile is radiant. Her eyes bright. There is no hint of the paraplexus eating at her nerve endings. Oh, so this is the first one. The Olympic medals lie in their glass cases, facing her like an audience. Yet I still had my love of skating, but the skill felt trapped inside my head. The mods, she corrects. The neural mods allowed that skill to be shared with others, a gift. So she's the reason we can skate. Oh, what's this? Uh, mimic detection gen one. We already have that. Oh, ESP targeting. Increases weapon damage to marked enemies. Ah, yes, definitely. We definitely want that. No available slots. All right. Looks like we're going to upgrade our suit. Hell yeah. Scope chips, that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can only have two on my scope. Did I do the wrong thing? Oh, whoops. Really? I don't understand. Okay. I guess that was not helpful at all. Uh, yeah. Hello? survive that one. Jeez, dude. I'm wasting all my neuromods on stupid stuff that I don't need. Sure. I mean, we already have it. Dr. Igwe, I replayed your previous requests and or relayed your previous requests and we'll see what we can do, but there's no there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for face to face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca. Miss Goodwin, to follow up on our previous request with the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitnave's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet with them before the neuromapping procedure if possible. Okay. Meeting Gustav. Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous requests and we'll see what we can do. Oh, do we already? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's all it is. Um, moon rock statue. Okay. Sure. I guess that's it. 
can try to make it into illusions somehow. I'm not really sure how. Uh, I don't really have anything that I can... Yeah. Let's get going. Behind the Iron Curtain, excerpt from a historical account of the civil unrest within the Soviet Union by Dr. Luke Manor Banda. Although the relationship between the USSR and the United States has warmed in the past few decades, there was little doubt that vestiges of the Iron Curtain still hung uh, icily between the two countries. Indeed, more than a century since its inception, Vladimir Lenin's communist vision still found itself alive and well within the oft-expanded boundaries of Mother Russia. But with each new Soviet annexation, the USSR began to find that the pub public outcry no longer came from just the Americans, but from amongst its own citizens. The Mensheviks, as they came to be known, opposed the aggressive Soviet expansion doctrine. While at first only a minority, the Menshevik movement continued to grow rapidly. Events would ultimately climate, uh, culminate following the Soviet Indian intervention with the outbreak of civil unrest led by Mensheviks and the beginning of the Second Purge. Ugh. The Neural Horizon 2. I asked Brandy if she felt betrayed by her paraplexus. She nodded, not in agreement, but understanding my point. Because they discovered they could map my brain, but I can't accept the Neuromod myself, her smile became fir firmer. I think that makes the gift more meaningful. It would be a year before it was quietly decided that by Transtar to receive no further neural maps, connectomes from paraplexus patients, citing unspecified risks. That's Brandy's story. We should meet soon, from Annalise Gallegos to Mikalia uh, Ilyushin. Chief Ilyushin. Uh, I work in psychotronics. We should meet soon, somewhere private. You name the place and time, and I'll be there. Stay safe, Annalise. Volunteer data access denied. Bianca Goodwin to... Uh, okay. Chief Engineer Ilyushin, your volunteer database access request has been denied on grounds of insufficient security clearance and lack of job relevance. Thank you for your understanding, Bianca Goodwin, volunteer and guest liaison. Door sensors and psychotronics. From Divya Naz to Michele Yushin, sorry, I tried to go in and do what you asked, but they absolutely refused to grant entrance. They were also very rude and a little scary. <laughs> they took the sensors and said they would install them. I didn't know what else to say, so I gave up. Sorry, Divya. Divya, I have a special assignment for you today. I'm sending you down to Psychotronics with a kit of door sensor upgrades and want you to install them on every door on the deck. They may give you a hard time, but make sure they understand that it is a safety issue. Let me know when the installations are complete. Okay, so that never happened. All right. Goliath. Oh yeah, I gotta make my way back out. Come on out of here. Rolling my way downtown. Oh, we already went to Kelstrips. Okay. Yeah. Mitchell. Here's the restrooms. Alright, what's gonna kill me in the restroom? Here's something flushing. Ah, uh, yeah. Shit, shit, shit. What is, what? What's happening? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um... I don't have much ammo. Do we have like a minimal QB ammo? I don't know if that's gonna help.
Where is it? Poltergeist. The, uh, Poltergeist. Poltergeists are not a normal part of the Typhon ecology. Uh, instead, they appear as a result of a rare mutation that occurs in less than 5% of Phantom Genesis cases. The Poltergeist is also the only known Typhon to possess the ability to render themselves invisible, undetectable even by psychoscope scanning. Uh, the exact mechanism is unknown at this time, as their limited numbers make adequate study difficult. Please note that any enclosure for a Phantom Genesis studies must be subjected to a full purge to avoid overlooked poltergeist specimens. Weakness to fire. Okay. Yikes, man. Okay, is there anything good in here? Why give me an enemy like that and not reward me? Thanks a lot. Guess I'll take some beer. I don't know. I need to recycle stuff, but I don't have a good place to recycle in here. I have to go like all the way back out to the Arboretum. Fuck, I'm out of ammo. Maybe I should go back out to the Arboretum. Space. And maybe make some ammo while I'm out there. That might be a good idea. Still gotta hit up the cafeteria, but I can't go there with nothing. I literally have nothing. Maybe not literally nothing. I have a little bit. Not much. Oh, this is the cafeteria. Shit. Stay away from there. Go this way. All right, we'll go to the cafeteria next, I guess. We gotta figure out how to get um, Foy's key card, because I remember in the playthrough yesterday that you didn't get to see. I I did find it somewhere. I just can't remember where it was. Sleepy. Sorry about it. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Fuck you, dude. <sighs> I can't. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Fucking nightmare out there waiting for me. Thanks a lot, dude. Do I have to go face it? Maybe I have to. I don't know if it's gonna spawn in here, or like, what do I do? <sighs> okay. Well, that was a fun thing to, to wake up to. I'm still hunting me. I do like it. Oh, hey, yeah. I forgot about this. Sweet. Okay, it says the nightmare's still hunting me for two and a half more minutes. I don't know if I can just, like, stay in here or what I should do. I don't have any ammo. In here. see him. Check the recreation center. No. We gotta get more ammo first. Ah, I don't know what to do because I don't want to go out there. Ah, screw it. 
just uh, not be a big weenie or face our fears today, face our nightmares today. And hopefully I don't die. I probably will. Maybe I won't. I'm not a weenie. I only cried for 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna just unnecessarily waste our running capabilities. Oh, yes. Fifteen more seconds. What a horrifying thing. I'm I want to kill one, but I just I don't think I have the capability at this time. Otherwise I would fight it. I would totally fight it if I thought I could beat it, but I really don't think so. Thank you. Yes. Leave me alone, please. Disruptor gun we don't need. Wrench we don't need. Let's see. Man, I really need to organize this. I don't need all this liquor. Beer. Screw all that. My goodness. That nightmare. That was a really good uh, enemy. That is absolutely terrifying, I'll tell you that. Okay, I think that's good. Give me some ammo. Jeez. Or neuromods. How's my neuromod situation? It's pretty bad, pretty bad. <sighs> but I need ammo worse. Uh, what's the situation? Okay, let's make some more. Man, I really wish I could find those Q beam cells. Oh, crap, that's it? That's all I can make? A suit repair kit, I guess. Why not? Oops. <sighs> okay. Oh, I didn't realize I had so many. I literally can't make anything else. Shit. All right, back to business. Good thing we haven't opened that door because we would have been screwed.
playing the music. Why? Everything's fine now. I got rid of that guy. It's okay. Jeez. Okay. So we got, I think, two more places to visit. We have the recreation center. And then we have the, uh, the cafeteria. Yeah. I think that's it. I think we'll get recordings from those two places. And oh, also we have the, not just the recreation center and the cafeteria, but we also have the gymnasium we have to search. Which has some people being mind controlled in it. Which up to this point, I've just been shooting people. Um, apparently you're supposed to hit them with the disruptor gun. Uh, anyway. Hey, that's been Prey. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, you know, we'll pick it up again in the next episode. If you like what you see, you've been watching through this point. Thanks so much for supporting my content. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. Uh, yeah, let me know that you're enjoying it. Um, can't wait to see you again.